I'd actually never heard of Purdue before I came here. But um, as soon as I came here, it was really magical. And like, it was a beautiful day out, and we saw the Boilermakers special. And my mom and I were talking all day about how much we loved Purdue and how excited we were about it because everyone was so nice, literally. This is the nicest campus ever. We could ask anyone on the street for like help or like instructions on where to go, and they'd like tell us and they'd be happy to help and even walk us to places. I chose Purdue because I wasn't really sure of what I wanted to do when I walked into college and when I walked into FIE. I always knew I wanted to do engineering because I love problem solving, but the thing I think that makes Purdue unique is how it offers every field of engineering at a very um, high degree of learning. It's very reputable no matter where you go. I originally actually wanted to be in biomedical engineering, but I quickly realized that I really only liked the electrical side of it. And so I thought I might as well just focus exactly in on what I wanted and do electrical engineering. I went into engineering because I was interested in both science and I was interested in programming and I wanted to be able to combine my interests together and computer engineering was that for me. I chose computer engineering over electrical engineering just because coming into like college and coming to Purdue, I just had a better background with like the software aspect and I didn't know anything about circuits. And so during T2M week when I had to like decide if I wanted to do like computer engineering or electrical, I ended up choosing computer and I was going to like maybe switch if I decided but I decided to stick with computer because I ended up liking it a lot. And I took AP Physics 2 my senior year and they covered a lot of like physics topics like fluids, um, electromagnetism and especially in the electromagnetism field I have learned a lot about like electronics as well as like quantum physics and I found that very interesting and I have heard that ECE field has applications related to that so that's why I chose that field. Originally it actually intended on picking um, biomedical and that was for like the longest time I thought I was going to be a doctor and then sometime in high school I realized wait a minute I actually like programming a lot and so it would make a lot more sense if I did ECE instead. I love to code. I think that's the best form of problem solving in my personal opinion. Um, I do like the electrical components but I think at the end of the day if I were to think about it I'd much rather sit down at a computer than sit down in front of a circuit. So. Computer engineering it is. My favorite class so far is ECE 270, which that's like a hardware design class. And you use code, you use Verilog code to like code the hardware of a circuit. And this past week we actually did both, which we've never done. You like code the code for the circuit and then you build the circuit. And so we put those two together and it was honestly so much fun. Even in your intro engineering courses, you're always teamwork oriented, which to me, I've definitely heard from people, um, especially recruiters, you know, teamwork is something that they always look for and something that Purdue has definitely a large emphasis on from the get-go. I have taken um, really good like takeaways from women in ECE organization. I have joined it because I wanted to promote um, like the um, investments that women have brought to the ECE field and also wanted to educate people about um, the contributions that women have made and I also wanted to bring a supportive community for other women um, students in ECE as well as uh, future women as well. We see is a great opportunity to make friends that are in the same major and that are on the same path as me. I think something that I struggled with when I first came to Purdue was the fact that a lot of my friends weren't on the same path that I was and they had a lot of different um, priorities, I would say. But now that I'm in We See, I can, I have friends that I can hang out with and study with and get all the things I need to get done um, while also having a social component. I got involved in WeCE because I wanted to be able to have an opportunity to connect with fellow women who were in ECE on campus and also to be able to have an opportunity to inspire girls who are interested in STEM and girls who are interested in ECE because I'll be very honest, when I was younger, I did not have very many girls who were like also interested in programming, also interested in like robotics. So I'm an ECE ambassador. Um, I'm one of the chairs of WeCE or outreach chair of WeCE. Not not chair. Um, and outside of that, I'm just very heavily involved in Purdue sports, so 
you always see me um, as low as possible at the Purdue basketball games, as low as possible um, at the Purdue volleyball games, and pretty much any sports, even football. On campus, I'm involved in ESES and WeCE, of course, but on top of that, I'm also in SWE, which is Purdue Society of Women Engineers, and I'm also in Purdue Dance Marathon. As a woman, I have felt that there are not enough representations of women in the engineering field. It has um, gotten better than the past, but there are still spaces left for improvements. So having um, representations of women engineers will encourage future women to further pursue engineering fields as well as leadership positions in the engineering discipline. For anybody thinking about ECE or making that transition, especially women, the number one thing that I would recommend is say yes. No matter what you're offered, say yes. You never know what it could lead to. You never know who your next best friend is. You never know what your next great adventure is. You never know what's going to turn into a job opportunity or at the end of the day, any form of learning experience. Don't be afraid to try something new. And even though, even if you see a whole bunch of men in the field, it's okay, you're not going to be alone. <laughs> All of us are here with you.